right. Hi everyone, we're gonna get started. So unfortunately I forgot my timer today, so I'm just going to use my other phone for our stopwatch, but you won't have the, the beeping here. Uh, don't have uh, access yet to my timer through my work phone. But let's go ahead and get started in our warm up. We have an upper body focus today. So you're gonna start in a push up position, nice and slow, mountain climbers, bringing one knee in and then the other. You can go to your elbows on this movement if you need to. I'm just gonna go about 30 seconds and then we're gonna go right into a bent arm plank. Get ready in three, two, one, into a bent arm plank. 30 seconds here for your bent arm plank. If your back bugs you at all, just walk your feet in and raise your booty up a little bit, but still try to lean your shoulders over the elbows. Got about 10 more seconds. And three, two, one, go ahead and walk up, spread your feet out. You're gonna inch slowly towards your feet and then inch back out just to a good straight arm plank position. Walk back slow to those feet and slowly inch back out. So they're inchworms, but we're keeping our feet nice and wide. That'll help if the hamstrings are a little bit tight especially for those that got a little longer legs, can ease into it. Now, hold with your booty high. You're gonna push into your heels and then lean back to that straight arm plank. Push into your heels, try to keep legs straight as you can. Lean back over the hands. Push back and lean. If you're feeling a little bit more flexible now, you can start working your feet in a little bit narrow just nice and easy, pushing those heels down into this downward dog position, and then back to our straight arm plank. Now go back to your straight arm plank. You're gonna raise your knee nice and high and try to touch the elbow to one side and then alternate to the other. So I'm really crunching to get my knee to hit that elbow, and then I crunch to the other side. I slightly bend the elbow. And you're more out to the side versus like the inside, like a mountain climber. I'm going high knee and lifting it high and then crunching it to the elbow. It's a little bit of a tougher one, so do the best you can. You gotta really lean the shoulder over the hand to even get that elbow close to the knee. And good, go ahead, rest, child's pose. Rest here a second, we're gonna go to side planks, 30 seconds per side. You're gonna start with it from the elbow, get your elbow tucked under your shoulder as best you can and lift up. If this bugs your shoulder at all, just drop the bottom knee, but push the knee back behind you more so you're nice and in line. And really focus on leaning the shoulder over the elbow versus having your arm way out in front of you. Or hold here, you got about 10 more seconds, and then we'll switch sides. A good goal on side planks is to be able to hold a minute or longer. So if it's real challenging here, go ahead and rest, switch sides. Definitely try to work on that. Incorporate these into your workout. Three, two, one, go ahead and lift up and hold. 30 seconds on this side. If even dropping the knee down bugs your shoulder, then just go to a normal plank. You can hold a normal plank. Even in that normal plank, you can just lift up an arm so that you could still kind of work that one side. Got about 10 more seconds. And rest. We're gonna go down to our stomach now. Reach nice and straight with your arms and legs, but now you're gonna spread them out really wide and then back to narrow. This is called our reverse snow angel. We have this later in our workout today. Go real wide, back in. Try 
Try to extend through the elbow. So squeeze your tricep. Look at your elbow and make sure they're nice and straight versus any bend in them. Now let your legs rest. Go to a Y position with your arms and pull your elbows down to a W. So this is called Y to W position. And we're prone on our stomachs. This is also in one of our circuits today. It's in the first circuit. The reverse snow angel exercise is in the second circuit. I'll be explaining the workout a little bit later. Now go to a T position. Legs can stay down. Still squeeze your booty, belly button in tight. Give me little circles forward, about 20. Keep an arm straight as you can, just head down, chin in. So this exercise is in circuit number three. Now go little circles back. About 20. And rest. Very good. Let's flip over. We're going to do a quick little ab exercise. You're going to crunch up, lifting your shoulder blades up, then lift the legs. This is just a bent knee hollow hold. We're going to hold here for about 30 seconds. Really focus on pushing your lower back into the ground. If your back bugs you at all, you can put your feet down, crunch your knees in more. And rest. So now go and put your feet to the ground. Crunch up again, and you're going to crunch side to side, trying to touch your heel, keeping the shoulder blades up off the ground. Lift your chin up a little bit just to help keep your neck in line so it doesn't bug your neck too much. And really reach. The closer your feet are together, the further you got to really crunch and reach to the side. And rest. Arms down to the ground. Feet are together. Let your knees fall to one side and then the other. Just getting a real good back stretch. Keeping the feet stacked. Helps a little bit further stretch this. You're just twisting. Now, if you want to raise the top leg and bring it up a little bit closer to you, you can do that. Get a little further stretch. And now we're going to do an iron cross stretch on one side. You can be slightly bent in the leg if you need to, or go straight as you can. Foot flat. So flex, and you're going to go to one side, crossing the leg over, and then bring that leg back up. Try to make sure you have both arms and both shoulders on the ground. You go to one side, back up. So we're not alternating. We're going to do the other side in a second. And good. let's go ahead and switch sides. Get about 8 to 10 on the other side. Cross over, bring that leg back up. And go. We're going to flip over now and do a few lunge stretches for our hips and our knees. So you're going to be in a push-up position. I'm going to bring my left foot way forward outside the left hand, and now I'm going to lean into that front leg as much as I can, and then gently push back. So you're trying to bend in the leg as much as you can, and then gently push back in as straight as you can. Try to keep your toe and knee tracking forward and push back. And forward as much as you can with that heel down so that we can really work the range of motion in the ankle without that heel coming up. So you can lean on the quad. It's safe for that knee to track forward as long as that heel stays down as we're putting load on the leg. So we can work on that really good ankle range of motion. Really important for your squats. And any type of lunge movement to have good range in those ankles. Now my left leg's forward. I'm gonna take my right hand really wide 
and straight in this arm. In this left elbow, same arm as the leg that's forward. I'm gonna go towards the ground, turning away from my leg, and then I turn and reach up. Turn, reach. Turn away. Turn and reach. Lean in as much as you can. Turn, twist, reach up. And good. Let's go ahead and switch legs. So go to the other leg in front. Lean forward, push back. Lean forward, push back. So even though it's more upper body focused today, I still like to always incorporate these stretches, really important. But I definitely make sure to always do these on my leg days. All right, so now my right leg's forward. I'm gonna go right elbow towards the ground, turn away from the leg, turn, reach towards the leg. Down, turn and reach. Down, turn and reach. And good, go ahead and go to a squat stance. You're gonna push your knees out, going into a really good squat, driving the arms to the inside of the knees, and then go booty back up. So you're working into that good squat, trying to push your chest through, belly in, so you get your back nice and flat, booty back up. And you go down, pushing those knees out, booty back up. Down, pushing knees out, booty back up. All right, I wanna warm up our shoulders just a little bit more for today's workout. You're gonna to go to an A position, palm going forward. This is working into our shoulder mobility, just getting good blood flow into those shoulders. So you're gonna reach back to A, go forward, reach back to T. Forward, go to Y, forward, back to I. Then go Y, T, A. T, Y, I. Just really holding each position, reaching. Try to keep your rib cage locked down, belly in so that you're not arching to get to those further positions. So I don't wanna arch and get loose in my midline to reach back further. I want to keep my midline tight and reach back as far as I can with my arms as straight as I can without arching. Now smoothly move through the positions. Overhead, again, working towards trying to keep arms straight as you can. So extend that arm, you're gonna feel a stretch through your bicep and just reach and work through all those positions. This is similar to what we do on our stomach when we do the reverse snow angel. Go to the Y position and down to W. Reach at Y, down to W, moving through. Just remember we'll be doing this one again today on our stomach. A sub from being on the stomach is you just do it upright like I am here kneeling or standing. Now, go ahead and put your hands at your sides, elbows in, arms bent at a 90 degree, and lift up towards the shoulder. So I go down, and then I lift up. Down, 90 degree, lift up. And I'll notice too, this is a good one to do in a mirror or you video yourself quickly. I'll notice I have one arm that goes a lot higher than the other. So like my right arm goes higher, so it just means I got a little bit more range there. And you just want to try to get nice and even. Now hold at 90 degree, go hands up and then hand back down, right? Just in line with the shoulder up, back down. And these all burn more than you would think. Just keep wrists straight, try not to flick your hand weird or anything. Trying to keep that elbow high, belly in tight, squeeze your booty. You want to not arch again to force this range of motion. And good. Real quick, uh, internal, external rotation. Touch your shoulders. Go Y, T, A, behind your lower back, palms out. And then A, T, Y, touch your shoulder blades. You're just working the internal, external rotation. If you're familiar with our fitness assessment, we wouldn't have done it last year, but the year before, there's an exercise test in that for your shoulder range where you try to reach behind your lower back with one arm and then you reach uh, for your upper back. Also, 
this is a good way to kind of help improve that movement or that test. So now reach as far as you can behind your lower back. Let your elbows fall in and then squeeze them together. Elbows fall in, feeling that good stretch, kind of round in your upper back, and then squeeze together. Same idea I've been talking about, belly button in tight, rib cage locked down. Try not to arch in that lower lumbar, in your lumbar spine. Keep the midline tight. All right, and rest. So we're going to get going into our upper body one sequence today. Uh, what we have is three different circuits. Each circuit uh, has three exercises, except circuit three has four. Each exercise you will perform for 30 seconds. So in circuit one, we have a shoulder focus, a pressing focus. You can choose any movement you'd like. If you want to do push-ups or anything uh, pushing or pressing, uh, you can do that. The first 30 seconds is going to be uh, some type of holding movement. <laughs> Excuse me. And then the second 30 seconds will be a moving movement. The third exercise is going to be a core, lower back, shoulder focus mobility movement. So I, what I have it written up as is the first exercise of circuit one is going to be an overhead press where you hold the weight overhead, either two dumbbells, a barbell. If you have a band, you can press that band up. I'm actually going to be demonstrating the non-weighted movements today. So if you don't have a way to hold anything overhead, there's a couple options and it'll be a little bit uh, weird to look at, but it, it'll work if you don't have any weights but we'll go over the second movement. So then the second movement is a moving. So you either do like a shoulder press, uh, you could do like an alternating press, barbell, dumbbell. You could do push-ups if you were doing like a, a push movement. And then the third movement, we're gonna go to our tummies. We're gonna go prone and we're gonna do that Y to W. Now, if you have no weights for the holding movement, couple options, what I want you to do is either a straight arm leaning plank where you lean way forward so that we really kind of burn up those shoulders. The other option, if you know how, and if you can safely do it, is you would do a wall walk or a handstand hold. So for the wall walk, I put my feet up and I hold where I'm comfortable against the wall. So it might even just be right here. If I'm able to walk up further, you walk up further. Just be very, very careful, careful on those shoulders. So just hold where you're comfortable. The leaning plank or even an elbow plank might just be fine. For that second movement, you would do your pressing movement, your push-up, or you could do a pike push-up. So I go to a downward dog, I'm gonna lean forward, and then I push back up. The narrower your hands, a little bit nicer on your shoulders, that'll be, and it will really work those triceps. The wider uh, makes it a little bit easier on triceps, just watch out for your shoulder. So if you have weights, you would just do shoulder press. All right, so I'll explain circuit two after circuit one. We're going three rounds of this circuit. I'm gonna just call out the 30 seconds today. If you have a timer and you have it beeping and set, and you can uh, set an interval timer to beep every 30 seconds, I'll give you a countdown so you can get that ready if you have an interval timer. We're gonna start in about 10 seconds, so get everything ready. And then uh, 30, 30, 30, so you go 90 seconds of work rest 30 seconds and then we'll repeat three rounds get ready in 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 and go you have your holding movement here first for 30 seconds so you're holding weight overhead you're doing that Straight arm leaning plank hold, or you do this wall walk hold. 15 more seconds. Really shrug through your shoulder, keep your belly button tight. Five, four, three, two, one. Now go to your pressing movement or your pushing movement. You can do the pike push up with me. Or if you have your dumbbells or barbell, you press with that weight. 15 seconds in. 10 more seconds. 
You got five, four, three, two, one. Immediately go to your stomach. Y to W. Reach at Y, pull the W. 30 seconds here. Fifteen more seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. So now you rest. We're going to go back to that sequence again. Hold 30, press for 30, and then the Y to W for 30. I'm going to go ahead and just do the straight arm plank hold this time where I'm leaning way forward. That way I transition quickly into the pressing or my pike push up. Get ready. Five, four, three, two, one, and go. If you're doing this leaning plank with me, you can turn your fingers out. That kind of can relieve the pressure off the wrists. Really make sure your booty's high on this. That'll help you push up onto those tiptoes. If straight arm's too much, just go to a bent arm plank. 10 more seconds. You have three, two, one, right into your pressing option. Remember your hands place narrower, either on the pike push up or even with the weights when you're pressing can help take that pressure off the shoulder if you keep it nice and narrow. Five, four, three, two, one, to your stomach, Y to W. One, 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Rest for 30 seconds. One more round of that same circuit. If you're feeling like you want more today, you could go a fourth round or a fifth round, but just in the Zoom class for the format, we do three and then we move on to circuit two. Just keep in mind there's three circuits today. But if you're wanting to keep it in the pushing, pressing movements, just repeat this again, even with different movements. Get ready, three, two, one, and go. You're either holding weight overhead, or you're doing a leaning plank hold like I am, just to really target those shoulders. 15 more seconds. And right into your pressing movement. Three, two, one, and go. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one, and go. Y to W. You can keep the legs down or up on this one. It's up to you. Really reach at Y. Pull and squeeze at W. 15 more seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Good. So take a little break. Now we're going to get ready for a type of pulling movement. So you can pick between a TRX row, a ring row, even a pull-up hold. And you could use the lateral bands if you have those under your feet. Uh, you could put a barbell up on a squat rack with hooks 
and lean and pull yourself up to that barbell so you do like an inverted uh, row. Just watch leaning the, the uh, if you are facing a squat rack and the hooks are open, don't lean that way so that the bar falls off the hooks. Turn and face the other way so it pulls up against the rack. So just careful that bar falling off the hooks. And otherwise you could do uh, like a bent over row, but I'm always tentative on a bent over row for this one because a lot of times people will pull and they get really funky in their positioning because their hamstrings are too tight and the back's not strong enough to maintain a good position. So I'd prefer you get like a band or if you have like a cable option and you do more of like a row in an upright position. The other option would just be to do a bicep curl hold for 30 seconds and then you go right into moving. So if you're doing bicep curl hold, you go right into bicep curls. If you're doing a row hold or a TRX row or a ring row, you hold and then you go into moving for 30. If you're doing pull up, it's pull up hold and then pull ups for 30 seconds. Now, if I have no weight, a pulling option is a really tough to do. So what I'm actually gonna do is gonna be a little bit weird, but you'll see me here in the corner and I'm going to do a movement in the corner. We'll do this corner, you better. Where my elbows are on the outside of the corner, my feet are really far away, and I'm gonna push myself through. So what I'm doing in that corner is my elbows are in front, and then I push myself through, and I'm gonna push through and hold. And I'm really squeezing those shoulder blades together. So you need a good open corner. So I'll hold that for 30 seconds, and then you cave in and move for 30. And then all of us together will go to the ground and do the reverse snow angel movement. So get ready for that. I will give you a 10 second countdown if you want to set a beeping timer if you have one. So get ready in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 30 seconds of holding, push through and hold or you're doing that pull-up hold, or bicep curl hold, or some type of row hold. Belly in, squeeze your booty. On this step, you gotta really focus on good posture, pulling that shoulder blade down and back so the shoulder doesn't creep up into the ear. 10 more seconds holding. Get ready to go immediately into moving in three, two, one, and go. So if you're in the corner like me, you cave in, Push away. It's a little awkward, but it's a way to really hit the back and try to mimic a cable row or TRX row type movement. 15 more seconds. The further your feet are away, do what I'm doing, it makes it a little bit harder, gives you a little bit more distance to cover. Three, two, one to the ground. Reverse snow angel with the legs and the arms wide, back together, narrow, wide, back together. Try to squeeze the knee and elbow, keep everything nice and straight, nice and slow. If you struggle to get narrow with those arms straight, just keep them more at your sides. Maybe you go like a T to A and that's fine. This one takes a little bit of practice, especially if those shoulders are real tight. Get ready to rest in three, two, one, and rest. 30 second rest here. And then get ready to go back to your holding option. If you don't have a corner or the corner you're in is awkward, just do a Superman hold for the holding then do Y to W again, moving, and then you go right into reverse snow angel. You can just do the floor exercise. Three, two, one, go, up and hold. So basically you could just do like 30, 30, 30 seconds of more of those prone exercises on your stomach. 15 seconds. If you're holding, especially like in a pull-up, you need to rest quick, that's fine. Jump, try to jump back up, get a last few seconds, five, four, three, two, one. Go to your moving option, pulling up and down, or even that bicep curl. 
get as many reps as you can. Moving nice and slow and controlled. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, to the ground. Reverse snow angel, right to it. Three, two, one, and rest. Very good. We're going to do one more round of circuit number two, and then we go into our last circuit. The last circuit just has a little bit more of just a delt, deltoid focus. 15 seconds. Get ready. Get ready. Three, two, one hold 30 seconds try a good posture stick that chest out especially if you're doing that trx or ring row push your shoulders down and back squeeze your booty belly button in keep that midline tight 10 more seconds last hold here three Two, one, right into moving. Fifteen more seconds. Keep going, a couple more reps. You got five, four, Three, two, one, to your stomach. Right to reverse snow angels. Fifteen more seconds, then we'll rest. and rest very good all right so next circuit final one and then we'll be done so if you have some light weights uh, the first exercise is a lateral side raise to the front then you lower in the front you raise you go back and you go down so you just continue that up in down up out down so that's the first one and then we're going to go to a reverse fly. So I'm actually going to have you recommend you do this on your stomach, either on a bench or on the floor versus bent over. Because it's the same issue on the bent over. I will always have someone like, oh, I tweaked my back because they're doing their reverse fly and they don't realize they're all caved and rounded. So I don't like having people do that unless I can see you and fix your positioning. So we're going to force your back to stay straighter by you on the floor or on a flat bench. You could even incline the bench a little bit, but I want you flat. And so on that, you can do the weights where you're in T position and you're doing a reverse fly. If we're on the floor, you could even just do no weight T position. The third 30 seconds, we're going to do the little circles um, backward. And then the fourth 30 seconds, there's a fourth on this one where we go big circles backward. And it's all back to back. You just rest when you need to. So uh, review, forward, two, front, and you alternate the lateral to front raise. Second exercise is reverse fly, either on a bench or on the floor. Uh, third and fourth exercise, you're still on your stomach, little circles back, and then big circles. For the first exercise, if you have no weight, what we're gonna do is a, just a uh, plank hold, just to kind of hit our shoulders still. And we're gonna twist and reach, and then we're gonna alternate and twist and reach to the other side. So if you have no weights, that's your body weight option. So I'm gonna be demoing the body weight options today. All right, we ready? So again, and you just kinda, of, you don't need a ton of weight on this one, even no more than like 10 pounds probably, 
five and two and a half are fine. Work more on your form. And get ready in 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And let's go. So if you're with me, spread your feet out just nice and slow. You go to from one side plank to the other side. I keep the feet spread out so that I can twist nice and easy. And then we'll go all of us right to our stomach in five, four, three, two, one. T position, lift up and back down. Palms down. You can do this with a little bit of weight if you have it. Just like I said, you don't need a ton of weight. We're going to go right into the next exercise from this. Ten more seconds. If you have weights, I recommend don't do the circles with weights. Get ready, little circles backwards. So you lift it, T, little circles. Three, two, one, go. 30 seconds of little circles. Try to keep arms straight. Move from the shoulder versus moving that elbow. These will burn. 10 more seconds. Keep your belly button tight, booty tight. That'll keep you from arching too much in the back. Keep your chest low. Now big circles. Go as big as you can. You're not gonna feel like you can go very big. Go to Y, lift at T, down to A. Try to just move your arms. If they're barely moving, just keep holding at that T position. 15 seconds. 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. 30 seconds. So you'll find on those big circles, you'll feel like you can barely do big circles. So you might even just be going like back and forth between like the A, T, Y, and that's fine. I just don't want you to arch or lift your chest or do anything funky with your neck to move those arms. So you might be barely moving and that's all right. All right, get ready to start again, either your lateral or front raise or the plank exercise in three, two, one, and go. If twisting and reaching like this bugs your shoulder, then just hold a normal plank, maybe just hug yourself and reach. Hug, reach, and stay in a normal plank position. That twisting can be a little bit tweaky if you have a shoulder stability issue and maybe you just hold bent arm plank that's fine too get ready in three two one down to your stomach T position or reverse flies ready go and you can just keep your legs relaxed on this but I still like to focus on squeezing my booty belly button in so that I'm always focusing on keeping that midline tight 10 more seconds. And now you go to the little circles backwards in three, two, one, go. You don't need any weight for this. Ten more seconds. If you need a quick rest between those big circles, take it now. Get ready for big circles. Three, two, one, and go. Fifteen more seconds. Just go to the uh, reverse snow angel option with the arms if you need to. Go in A, T, I. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Very good. So we started class a little later today, so I'm gonna cut us short now. If you wanna do a third round of that circuit, go ahead. You just need to set a little timer for yourself or maybe just give yourself a goal of like 10 to 20 reps of each movement. 
of the uh, lateral or front raise, the reverse flies, and then those circles. And now we're just gonna go into a stretch. So let's go to a Superman position on your stomach. So your arms are in T uh, position. I'm gonna take one hand and I'm gonna use it to push myself against this other arm behind me, keeping it in a T position. So nice and easy, push against that arm to get a good stretch in the chest. Even lift your fingers up. Keep it as straight as you can. So it's a really good stretch to do, especially on an upper body day. And especially if you're doing like a chest bench press focus day, perform this stretch. You wanna hold it for a good one to two minutes. This one can also just be performed against the wall. I like the floor better because I can really focus on keeping my arms straight. And then the exercises that we did for the warm up, especially all the like IYT, all those different movements, are really my go to on upper body days, especially. As we met, I just mentioned like a chest or bench press type day. It'll really help activate all those little muscles in your shoulder to help get that, them activated to help support your shoulder for larger dumbbell or barbell pressing, pushing type movements. Go ahead, switch sides. About 15 more seconds, keep holding. And rest. All right, very good. Make sure to check out that shoulder rehab one video on Target Solutions under the health wellness page. That has all these kind of exercises in there and also goes over how to lacrosse ball roll, which is similar to foam rolling with a, a lacrosse ball for your shoulder. All right, hopefully we we'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.